Hey guys, Josh here again. Today I'll be showing you how to make a paracord fast rope, which is a very simple and secure way to bundle your cord that still allows it to be unspooled with a simple pull of this loop very quickly and without any twists or tangles. I will be showing you a couple of the best methods for doing this, as well as going over some variations for different lengths of cord. This video was inspired by multiple other people's tutorials that I watched that helped me learn these methods. They're all great videos. If you want to check them out, I will have links to all of them in the description down below. So to do this, you'll need two things. First one is a piece of cord. For this, I will be using a 25 foot length of high quality 550 paracord. And the second thing you need is your hand. Pretty simple. To get started, all you need to do is tie a simple loop knot in the end of your cord. Any loop knot will work. And this loop simply has to be big enough to slip over your finger. Now there are many different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way I like to do it, which is not necessarily the absolute best way, but it's the way that works best for me and uh, is the simplest to do in my opinion. And uh, I just really like it. So I'm gonna start by putting the loop over my pinky finger and then going up around my pointer finger in the web of my fingers going underneath my thumb and then starting a figure eight pattern with the cord generally moving up my fingers but wrapping over when needed because I have a lot of cord here and you're just going to keep going with this um, until you reach the end of your fingers or until you're nearing the end of your cord. When you're left with about this much tail, you're going to start slowly, carefully working the bundle off of your fingers. Then you're going to grasp the bundle with the loop coming out the bottom and the tag end coming out the top, just like this and you're going to wrap the tag end around the bundle and then back over itself just like that. That'll lock it in place. And then you're going to keep wrapping until you get to the end of your cord. When you get to the end of your cord, simply loosen the previous wrap and put the tag end right under that loop that gets created and then pull tight. Just a simple overhand knot and that's going to keep your bundle nice and secure. And then of course, when you're ready to use your cord, you simply take the loop, hold the bundle in your hand, and pull. And it should all come unspooled. You might get a few twists in the end just because of how we wrapped the bundle. It was no longer a figure eight but those should be very easy to get out. And you should have your cord ready to use. This method is quite consistent. I have tested this a bunch and I hardly ever get tangles with it. And if I do, it usually only takes about a second to undo them. To attach it to your pack or to anything else really, simply widen a hole through these loops with your finger and slip your caravaner through. Simple as that. If you want it to still be quick release, you can attach it to the quick release loop. But just keep in mind that if anything snags the bundle, the whole thing could come unspooled. Now I want to really quickly go over some variations with this. Now the first one I'm going to show you is kind of the standard method, the one that I've seen done most. And to do this, you're simply going to start with the loop on your thumb, go down to your pinky finger, up to your pointer finger, and then you're going to create your figure eight loops going down your fingers, each one going beyond the previous one. Just like this, and then all the other steps are the same. And this is arguably the best and most consistent method of doing this, as each loop is going beyond the previous one, 
and there is no overlap and no chance of tangles. However, I find it awkward as I don't like using my pinky finger and this doesn't allow you to use near as much cord as the first method I showed you. The max cord length for um, 550 cord for this method is probably about 20 feet, maybe a little bit less. For the first method I showed you, I could probably get away with um, a little bit over 25 feet, maybe even 30 feet. I also find this to be quite a bit slower than the first method, simply because I'm uncomfortable with it and it's awkward for me. So for those three reasons, I prefer my own method, but they're both fantastic and I highly recommend you guys trying both and seeing which one you prefer. Another variation is for using, if you're using a very long piece of cord, like say 40 feet or something, that the finger method just won't work for because you don't have enough space, you can simply wrap the loop around your thumb and then do your figure eight around your thumb and your elbow. And that works very well. And I do that um, sometimes for longer piece of cord. Again, I would recommend that for maybe, well, anywhere up, upwards of 25 feet um, would be good for that method. Um, just keep in mind that it's going to be kind of a long bundle. Another variation is doing the same thing as you do with your fingers, but with a jig. So I've seen people that they take a 2x4 or something, and then they put wooden dowels in it, and then they wrap around those. And the benefit for that is that you can make them as long as you want, and you don't have the space limitation that your fingers have. So you can do any length of cord um, on one of those, and it also makes the bundles a lot neater, um, if that's something you like. However, of course, you don't always, you're not always going to have your jig with you where you always have your hand with you. Well, there you go, guys. Those are some of the best methods and variations for making a paracord fast rope. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped you, and I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a like or a comment down below. And please consider subscribing for new videos coming every other Tuesday. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.